Hey, how's it going, folks? This is ET here down in Fukuoka, Japan. So these shops, these these uh, charcoal colored or black colored shops, you often see them. And if you read the, the characters there, it's usually toys, buy, sell, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, these shops have, they buy and sell games, toys, music, cameras, musical instruments, electronics sometimes, a little bit of everything they got in there dvds videos etc etc cards game cards playing cards etc there's all kinds of crap in here i mean this is like the otaku paradise if you're into japanese otaku culture games etc you gotta you will you will find this place if not you better go find one in your local store for your visiting you should definitely uh check the internet and, and you know all the blogs and see if you can find where the good ones are Almost every city has one, but this one, we, we went there just checking for some Nintendo games, some Famicom, Super Famicom games, and we found a ton, lots and lots, yeah, and just, I'm just kind of looking through, here's the Ultraman one, just kind of flipping through them just to kind of give you an idea of what they had there, and for myself to remember what they had there, so if I wanted to go back, I might pick some up, J League, Super Soccer, Super Chinese, they had all kind of games. I mean, Superman. Some games I never even heard of, of course. I mean, when it comes to collecting games, I don't know all the games, but I just I have my favorites. Like, Dig Dug, Dig Dug of course, is one of them. Mario, uh, Mario Kart, Super Sonic, Afterburner. Yeah, all these kind of similar style games are definitely good ones to play. What else? Oh, 1942. Can't go wrong with that. That's a classic. F1 race. Wow, just all kinds of stuff. And uh I this this place actually didn't have that many consoles, but you can definitely still find the old consoles either in these kind of shops or on Yahoo auctions in Japan. You can find them a lot. So it's really easy to get them for a pretty good price. Sometimes you can get it with a, a whole crap ton of, of uh software as well. This game here is Yoshi's Island, which I'd never actually played before, but I'm definitely gonna have to go back and pick this one up. And uh looks like it was uh, 2,200 yen. So what is that, 22 bucks? If you do even, I made 25, 26 bucks. So not so bad for, but most of them were like 500 yen, which is like five, six bucks. But yeah, look at this. Bins and bins full of games. It's, it's awesome, yeah. And last but not least, family basic computer for the original Famicom. Awesome.